Not on this network. I don't know anybody who got anything wrong. We didn't say that there was conspiracy. Why are you always lying? In its desperate bid to obfuscate its role in perpetuating the Russian collusion hoax, CNN continues spinning this alternate reality where they are the epitome of journalism and play no part in what amounted to an attempted coup by the Democrat Party and the media. Anybody who watches this channel or watches CNN knows that they're a habitual purveyor of misinformation. So imagine my complete and utter surprise when Just the Facts Tapper claims that CNN never got anything wrong in the Russian collusion story. If you remember, they made the same kind of alternate reality claims when the Covington story blew up in their faces. Suddenly they were skeptical the whole time and never got anything wrong in the Covington story. They do this because they know that most of their viewers are just as invested in this story as they are and that they will continue to believe in this conspiracy theory no matter what information comes to light. He wants it released, but I'm not sure what you're saying the media got wrong, but the media reported what, what the investigation was going on. The, I, I, other than the people in the media on the left, not on this network, I don't know anybody who got anything wrong. How is CNN not left? CNN champions every left-wing cause that there is. Even the Republicans that CNN brings on are only used to bash other Republicans. Here, Tapper is like a little kid who covers his eyes and thinks he's invisible. The denial on display is shocking. Besides the fact that CNN and the rest of the media have been on a steady Russian collusion drumbeat since Trump took office, CNN and Tapper himself have been called out multiple times for getting it wrong. One example involved the Comey testimony. Remember when Trump claimed that Comey had informed him on three separate occasions that he was never under investigation? Tapper and three other CNN journalists claimed in multiple reports that Comey's testimony would refute Trump's claims. CNN's Jim Schuto breathlessly reported, quote, It will have import. It will have impact because, as credible as we are, hearing it from our mouths versus hearing it from his mouth for the American population is going to be significant. Wrong. Washington Post media critic Eric Wemple, who's no right winger, slammed Tapper and his gang of DNC operatives saying, quote, it's not fake news, it's just wrong news. This flies in the face of Jake Tapper's claims that they got nothing wrong. Look, I don't know anybody who got anything wrong. Remember, Jake Tapper said it was just those left wingers getting it wrong. CNN even had to issue multiple corrections to their stories after it turned out that their trusted reporting was completely wrong and Comey's testimony actually did back up Trump. But wait, there's more. I don't know anybody who got anything wrong. <laughs> Remember when CNN freaked out and reported that Trump Jr. was receiving emails offering decryption keys for WikiLeaks documents? CNN reported that Trump Jr. had received these emails on September 4th and then the very next day tweeted out about WikiLeaks releases showing that Clinton had emailed classified materials on her private email account. The problem is that CNN was wrong and their reporting was bad and that the emails were actually dated September 14th. This was long after the WikiLeaks documents had already been released. Or how about when CNN falsely reported that Anthony Scaramucci had secret meetings with Russian investors? That whopper led to three CNN employees being fired. Tapper said they didn't report anything wrong. Why would CNN fire three employees if they didn't report anything wrong? <laughs> Most of the people that get this information don't find out later that the story wasn't accurate. That's why we call them the drive-by media. They spew their misinformation and then they speed off their damage having been done. Trump cuts U.S. aid to three Mexican countries. The reference, of course, was to Central American countries. Isn't CNN currently being sued because of their rush to judge and destroy a bunch of kids that were wearing MAGA hats and under assault from two groups of adult racists? You really don't have the moral high ground to bash Fox News over a Chiron mistake. Even if that Chiron mistake was pretty stupid. It seems pretty obvious that right now CNN is trying to deflect their recent failures onto their competition. And judging by the ratings, it's not working very well. If you look on this list, there's not a single CNN show appearing on the rankings. And I think that this is driving their schizophrenic desperation. Hey, before you go, I wanted to suggest that you head on over to SJG Perspectives channel and check out his latest illegal immigration parody video, Ice Ice Baby. He's a talented guy and I thought it was pretty funny. And while you're over there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. One other thing, be sure to keep checking out my Teespring store. We have an awesome new design dropping any day now and I think you're all going to like it. Thanks.